All right, hey everybody, hope you've been having a good snow week. Still can't believe it, oh my goodness. Um, I've been playing outside in the cold actually, so you'll have to forgive my, my uh, red face. My nose is red, my cheeks is red. I'm sure you can relate, it's cold out there. All right, so uh, these eight questions represent some of the, well, just questions from sections four, five, and six. So let's uh, take a look at them here now. Uh, first set of questions here. Um, are the triangles similar? If so, give a similarity statement and the reason. Now, the biggest trick here, whether it's the, even if the diagram's not given to you, make sure you match up the, the biggest to the biggest, the smallest to smallest, the medium to the medium. So uh, 20 and 12 are the two smallest sides. Um, so their ratio together, 20 over 12, reduces down to 5 thirds. Uh, now go to the medium ones, um, 35 and 21 also reduces down to 5 thirds, and then the biggest ones, 40 and 24, reduces to 5 thirds. So yes, all of the corresponding parts reduce down to the same ratio, so they are all three sides, all three sets of sides, I should say, are proportional. Um, that means that triangle NST, it doesn't matter how you name your first one, but then be consistent. Make sure that um, LCR, um, that, the, that the corresponding uh, letters match up as well. So double check. Does NS correspond with, let's see, LC? Yeah, those are the two smallest signs. Um, two, two quick checks like that will, will help you. Okay. Uh, on number two, there is no side information here. But we do have uh, parallel lines. The parallel lines will allow us to say that we have um, alternate interior angles that are congruent, um, both pairs of alternate interior angles. And then, of course, we also have the vertical angles. So, yes, we have uh, similar triangles. The reason is angle angle. Um, anytime you have two angles, you'll always have the third. A triangle ABE is similar to triangle CBD. Um, just make sure that your answer, you have the, the um, corresponding. Um, parts, vertices matching up. Uh, number three, I may have tricked you on. Let's see if I did. Um, do you have similar triangles? Well, there's a little triangle inside of a big triangle. They share um, the, an angle here. Angle L is in the little triangle and it's in the big triangle. Okay? So they share an angle. Now, if you then said 24 and 30, 20 and 25, you were not comparing the small triangle to the big triangle. You have to go 24 to 54 and 20 to 45. 20 over 54 is 4 ninths. 20 over 45 is 4 ninths. So yes, those two sets of sides are proportional. Side, angle side is the reason. So if your answer said 4 to 5 as the scale factor, um, uh, then, then, well, I guess I wouldn't have tricked you. You still could have said that they're side, angle, side, proportional, and you'd gotten full credit. But if I did happen to ask you for the scale factor, then you'd be wrong. The scale factor is 4 to 9. Um, but if you still said the side, angle, side, because of it, uh, good for you. That If it's a diagram like this, that will work out. Okay? Um, there's other examples like these that we've done on the practice and in the concept guides that you need to be familiar with, too. But these are, these are the, the trickiest and main ones, I'd say. Um, all right, number four. Um, the real question for solving for the variable here, we, we need to set up a proportion. 6 clearly um, corresponds with 10, but does x correspond with 18 or the 16, and how do you know? Well, the alternate interior angles here um, with the parallel lines is how you know. So 6 corresponds with 16, or x corresponds with 16, so that is your proportion. Should have gotten 9.6. Okay, number five is a section four, five, and section six question. Um, we got parts, and we got holes, and we got parts here. We got small triangle, we got big triangle. So there's multiple different ways you can look at this thing when we're solving for x. You can write the proportion um, part over six over six plus x equals nine over thirty nine, or you could say six over x equals nine over thirty or you could have said x over six plus x it doesn't doesn't matter which combination you use as long as you are that's right consistent yes so um with any either one of these you'll solve and get 20. all right here's where the next question comes six over y equals nine over something is it nine over 30 or is it nine over 39 this is where you got to absolutely be careful six is a part of the small triangle 
Y is a part of the big triangle, so 9 small triangle, 39 big triangle. You cannot put 30 there if you did so. Um, you'd be wrong. The answer is 26. Uh, number 7, this is the uh, angle bisector theorem that we did in, chapter, in section 6. Uh, it, that was splits these two sides proportionally with, um, or sorry, the, the big side, opposite side, proportionally with the other two sides. The problem here is we don't know what this piece is. So what is it? Is it 15 minus x or is it x minus 15? x minus 15, your proportion um, accordingly. I just showed you two different ways. As long as you are consistent, it doesn't matter how you do it. Um, either way, we get 37.5. Okay, and finally, number 8. Uh, take what it gives you that those pieces and parts are proportional 20 over x equals 28 over 35 and solve and you get 27.5. You can also combine like what we were doing up here. Really what's going on here and here are, are kind of the same thing. You, you can combine 22 and x and 28 and 35 but really why would you do that? So the stuff here is will be on your quiz next class. Uh, we'll try to expedite things um, when class begins and not do something that's this in, uh, detailed, um, whatever questions you have come prepared at the beginning of class with them from this and from your practice sheets and everything else that we've had. Um, we need to get going as quickly as we can next Monday and Tuesday, assuming we ha ever have school again. Goodbye. Oh, and be safe. Get some rest. Rest? You've had the whole week off. Never mind.